how your heart works. So let's talk about that. There are three subsystems on how your heart works. And it's always good to review this. Um, those of you who've heard this before, it's going to be a review for you. But let's really go look at these three subsystems, okay? First of all, the heart is composed of the heart, the physical heart here. It has a blood vessels, which are known as a vasculature. And then the blood, the stuff that the heart pumps and that goes through these blood vessels, okay? And we're going to walk through this carefully. But what you'll see is that the cardiovascular system actually is composed of these three subsystems, heart, blood vessels, and blood. Now, the heart is a powerful muscle. It's right in the center here which is responsible for pumping the blood, the good blood, the good blood meaning the oxygenated blood it receives from the lungs, which comes into the left atrium and then, then is pumped from the left atrium and then is pumped from the, the left ventricle. The ventricle is a bigger part here. And then all this oxygenated blood gets pumped throughout um, your body, but it's done through this vessel here which is called, and you're gonna learn this shortly, this is called the arteries. And these arteries through all the capillaries oxygenate your body. As your body consumes as oxygenated blood, it becomes deoxygenated, which gets pumped back to your heart through what is known as the right atrium, which then pumps it down to the right ventricle, which then sends it up to the lungs, the deoxygenated blood, which gets oxygenated and the process continues and so on, okay? So this is called the circulatory system, but all of this blood is carried through different blood vessels, which we're gonna go deeper into, but what is blood? Blood is not just the red stuff, which is a red blood cells, which carries oxygen, but blood also includes the white blood cells, which support your immune system. So just be cognizant that your heart is pumping all that red stuff, which you see is the red stuff that you see in you know, when you get cut or something, that's the red blood cells, but it also is pumping important white blood cells, which are the things, the immune cells, which support your entire immune system. So heart health is important for immune system function plus your circulatory system. So let's get into a little bit detailed looking at the blood vessels, okay? The blood vessels are composed of three, really three, you know, major uh, systems. The arteries, which is in red here, which is carrying all the good oxygenated bloods to the next set of branches called the arterioles, which then send all this oxygenated blood through capillaries. And capillaries are where the blood exchange take place, so the oxygen. So this, you're, you're exchanging all the great oxygen into your uh, end nutrients, right, to your cells, which is over here. And then the cells are putting in their waste and their carbon dioxide, which it comes back through the capillaries into the venules, and then it goes into the veins. So what are the arteries? Well, first of all, the arteries are the large blood vessels that carry oxygenated blood away from the heart, right? So they're bringing it from the heart, oxygenated. The veins are the large blood vessels that carry deoxygenated blood to the heart, right? Because the heart isn't gonna pump it to the lungs and they're gonna get oxygenated. But the capillaries are all these fine, small blood vessels that deliver nutrients, okay, to the cells, but they also are the ones that take away the waste and the carbon dioxide, okay? So the capillaries, as you're gonna learn very soon, are extremely important. So when we start looking at a nutrient like kale, how does it actually influence the capillaries? And the capillaries you're gonna find are made up of a fine set of cells called endothelial cells. And I encourage everyone, you wanna write that down, endothelial, because you're gonna realize how important endothelial function is for your existence and for heart health. So if you look at here, now we're getting a little bit of a zoomed in view but the arteries, the veins, and the capillaries are all consist of the tunica intima, okay? And that's the inner walls, okay, of the veins, the inner walls of the arteries. And in fact, the tunica intima is the only thing that the capillaries have, okay? And that's the inner layer, and it's consisting of endothelial lining. So the lining of the veins, the lining of the arteries, and the lining of the capillaries are made up of endothelial cells. Okay, so it's, it's so if you walked into sort of your kitchen or your bathroom and the tiles, think about those tiles, each as an endothelial cell, and that's sort of the covering, and your veins are made up of that, the arteries are made up of that, and capillaries, okay? The capillaries, however, do not have the tunica media or the adventia. So what is a tunica media? Well, that's a middle layer, okay? So you have the endothelial, which is makes up the tunica intima, but the tunica media, middle, is what 
the arteries have and the veins have, but you notice the tunica media in the heart is much thicker, okay? And the, in the tunica uh, media in the veins are much thinner, relatively. And then finally, of the adventia, which is the outer layer, okay? Again, the capillaries don't have the outer layer, but which provides structural support, okay? So you have the structural support here in the tunica adventia. It's loose, fibrous, connective tissue, and you also have it here in the arteries, all right? So you have the inner piece, which is a tunica intima, which is composed of endothelial cells. The middle, much thicker in the arteries, called the tunica media, much thinner in the veins. And then the outer is, uh, whether it's veins or arteries, is the adventia. So that is a vasculature that your cardiovascular system has. Mm -hmm.